We're here at Heimbuck UK and I'm standing next to a work holding connoisseur, Giovanni Albanese, and he's going to give us a little bit of an education on some of their latest products. So over to you, Gio. Well, Lindsay, uh, we're here today looking at some of the latest innovations from Heimbuck. Now, the Manic um, is a product that, in my opinion, is under underused from some of the engineers out there. It's such a versatile product that can be used on milling machines, whether that be a three axis machine, a fifth axis machine, and it can be used in lots of different ways. So it can be used to hold shafts, round parts, but it also can be used to hold billets, rectangular square billets, by literally just prepping um, a circular uh, diameter on the bottom of the billets, similar to what you do when you're dovetailing billets for fifth axis work that's going on in a centric gripper, for example. What benefits do you get from that? There's lots of benefits, lots of vibration dampening benefits, a very low profile, lots of clearances around here for when the, the machine bed is tipped at 90 degrees and you're trying to get spindle clearances in there. But also, the collets are interchangeable. So the, the collets that you use to turn the, the, the diameters and, uh, and turn parts on your lathes, you can use them collets on your fifth axis machine or on your three axis machine. So there's such versatility with this particular product that, again, whether that's true or not, a lot of people maybe just assume that, that Heimbuck is just for lathes. Lathes, that's what I was thinking. So clamping force on this product, does this work alongside this then? So Heimbuck have also got a unique testing kit um, to check for clamping force on, yep. on, on kind of ro rotary uh, applications and, and also on stationary applications such as the Manic. And what that effectively does is it just checks the clamping force so you can achieve a stable process. Um, or if you're looking to hold fin walled work and, and you don't want to distort it, you can set exactly the correct clamping force that you require. So you're kind of standardising across the board for... Absolutely. Yeah. You're creating that stable process for when that part comes along again on your kind of operation sheet, you can say, right, that part is to X amount of kilonewtons and it can be set again. So you, you've got that stable process and repeatable process. Yeah, okay, this here, is this what we're going to look at next? So again, when we talk about a modular work holding solution, obviously it takes the collet um, and you can also get collets that are soft collets so you can hold irregular shapes, but you've also got an expanding mandrel here, Lindsay. So if you're looking to hold parts internally as well, mm -hmm. um, an expanding mandrel is ah. a perfect solution. And this actually, again, modular, goes straight into the manic, so you can hold externally, internally. So the the the, the applications are quite varied, yes, absolutely, um, and it gives you a lot of um, scope to hold many different components. Uh, brilliant, and on two different machines as well. Exactly, so that will also fit onto your lathe. Okay, and next up, any newer products in here? Well, we've just looked at this particular little mini Heimbuck collet chuck that's perfect for uh, grinding applications. For example, not only is it very small, but it's very accurate, and I believe it's it's accurate to less than five microns. So lots of new innovations, lots of products, as you would expect, from Heimbuck. Um, and for more information, just contact them. You are a connoisseur. Thank you. <laughs>